All right. How's everyone doing today? Hopefully good. Hopefully great. If not, let's change that. Because here we are again in Nightingale. And um, so yesterday we, we were doing a bit of hunting. We finally got our, our rickety home, which we'll, we'll upgrade at some point. But for now, this works. Um, I did do some stuff off stream. Um, just because I just didn't want to bother y'all with too much farming. Because we need a whole lot of leather. We need so much leather. So, like, I was able to get the, the sling bow, finally. We definitely needed that. Um, also got some simple tools. Which, now that I'm thinking about it, I think we're going to need a maul. We're going to need an actual weapon. Um... Instead of using a sickle like this, and stamina. Oh, we gotta sleep. All right. Instead of using a sickle, I think what we'll we can't. For some reason, we can't pull straight off the uh, hot bar here. Okay, and we'll put that down. And what we're gonna do is we're going to we're gonna make us a mall. We. Need Blocks, bundles, and straps. We should have just enough. Do, do, do. This is the last of our straps. Hopefully it's a good choice. Let's see how fast it swings. It's probably going to be super slow. Not enough stamina. Never mind. Um, let's put this stuff away. Let's, um... We can turn this into, um, dust if we wanted. Just to... I don't know. Have more dust? What's our dust count at? 487. Not bad. Yeah, we could turn these into dust. Don't, we don't need all of this. Alright, let's have a nap. Our boy is tired. I have a snack because we are hungry. Actually, let's bring some of these berries too. Abled meat. We set our one hander to the knife and our meds. And we walk around with the sling bow. So it looks like these trees don't come back. I was thinking that maybe it would. You know, like an enshrouded, you know, the resources come back after 30 minutes. Or if you, like, leave the server and come back. But it seems here that's not the case. Um... Oh, I hear, I hear wolves. Let's go get us some wolves, shall we? Um... This limbo's really crappy. It's got a really... I drop rate or projectile ball. I don't know what the term is. Missed. Just over its back. Really? You didn't hit him? Really? It looks like it's going like right through his head. Okay, maybe it's like falling way short. That's probably what's going on. Oh, we got that one. Mirror wolf is. 
Oh jeez, that's gonna be slow. You're not. You're not liking this at all. He has so much hit points, what the hell? Ah, I knew that was gonna happen. I like how they get knocked down. Oh my goodness. not doing well. Let's switch out of that. Oh, that's much better. I was like the mall doing 16 points of damage. Ow, got hit my back. But having more armor is nice. Oh, I forgot to show you that, uh, I got some some clothes too. Ow. People are saying like and there are some valid complaints, like you know, they're saying combat in this game is too simple or whatever. But it's like I've been playing a lot of Enshrouded, and the combat in Enshrouded is pretty simple. It's supposed to be Souls-like, um, but it's more like souls light. you know what I mean? And the tactics I've used just now to kill these wolves are pretty much the same tactics I use in, in Shrouded. So, to me, people who are complaining about the combat in this game, I think they just want to make complaints, is, is my honest opinion. Because... It seems okay. It could use polish, don't get me wrong. And... There's always work to do. But it's not worth the complaints that I'm actually seeing about it. I feel like people are blowing up, blowing stuff up out of proportion. Or drama, or just to ride the wave of negativity. I, I don't know, whatever. I mean, then again, I haven't, like, you know, all the only thing we've killed so far are, like, wolves and boars and, like, the, um, like, a few of those bound. And, for the most part, the two wild, like, wild creatures, the boars and the wolves, they were relatively... Beating them was about the same, you know? It, we just did the kiting thing. And we pretty much beat him, but I suppose it's the same for the um, what do you call those? The the bound, but those are a lot harder to, to actually do that with. So it's not like it's the same. In fact, we had to be careful of what their patterns were or how they were going to attack, depending on your position. Like, um, next to them. The animals are really simple, though. I feel like that's on purpose. Like, to indicate that there are smarter combatants in the world. But again, I'm not saying that it can't be improved upon. It definitely can. Um, I would like to see a little bit more tactical variance. Like with the wolves, for example, they're wolves. They should know that they should attack from one front and then flank on the sides. And that makes it much harder for us as players, but this is a survival game, right? It should be hard. Like difficulty, when you ramp up difficulty, it shouldn't be more... It should be more than just hit points and damage, right? It should be also, It should also be how intelligent are the creatures you face, um, like how cunning they can be. 
like again flanking is a it's a is a should be a viable thing okay let's put this stuff away wait do we need to put this stuff away no we need to okay only three hides what do we need oh right so with the gear got the head wrap last time we got gloves and boots i don't know if that was on stream i don't think so i don't remember so what we need now are these three things the bottom the top and the gear or gear the capelet and that should take let's take a look reaches it needs two leather this is the shirt's also two leather and the cape is two leather so that's six six total which means which translates to 12 hides because it takes two of these to make one leather that's a lot of killing wool gotta be honest And we're going to have to seek them out. Alright, let's put this away because we don't want to lose it. Um, same with these. Okay, we've got a bunch of bones in case we need more. So here's the question now. If the mall is useless against the wolves. Actually, let's look at this. Pounding. So these probably have a, a high resistance to blunt damage, bludgeoning damage. Like you can see, it's two handed bludgeoning. This one's main hand piercing, two hand piercing, two hand slashing. They're probably just, they're very resilient against bludgeoning, most likely. You know what we should do? We should try piercing damage against them. It, uh, that actually might do more. Okay. In that case, we put the mall back down and pick something else up. A fishing rod. Like, or the cl climbing picks, maybe? Like, so we can get around. Or do we put the sickle back on so we can farm grass pretty easily? I wonder if there's a weapon too. Yeah. I just want to try climbing. How do you do it? Nope. Uh, oh, you should jump on it. Oh, it takes so much damage. You see that? That tiny amount drained all of it. So what we do is jump. Well, why did it take so much? Let's see if we can... Let's go over there. Let's see if we can get to the top over there. We're about to run out of food, too. Or food buffs. Oh, and just hold, like staying here. Like stopping still drains your death stamina. Interesting. So we definitely can't make it up there. And where we're at, we just fall. So I don't think that's very useful for us. Not with 60 stamina. Well, it'll be 50, I think, once this food runs out.
So let's put this away and let's put our let's grab our sickle. I do like how he slides the tools down to their uh, the top, the half. No, when he slides the haft all the way down his wrist while running, make them more uh, compact. Looks really cool. Okay, it sucks that these are not very useful. Um, maybe we keep them all on us anyways, just in case. Like, maybe they're good against bound? Or automatons, maybe? Probably automatons. So... Let's get the sickle back out. We'll use that for farming. And let's have a snack. We also don't need to worry too much about food because we got plenty of got plenty of meat. We got plenty of those herbs, although I don't really want to use them because if marigold's necessary for something, then we should hang on to it. Sorry, I'm like trying to listen for animal life, but... Okay, I thought I heard wolves. In this direction. Oh, I saw that thing yesterday. I was like, what is it? But I think this one we saw on stream. There's another set of stuff like this over there somewhere. That I, I saw off stream. Okay, where are these wolves? Here we got boars. There's one thing that we should do again, is to lead boars into wolves. So that they, they fight it out, and then we can, um... We can go after whoever's left. I just warned that we're still here. I mean, you heard him too, right? I stuck on the log. Yeah, I hear him. Oh, there, there. It's wet. I think the fighting area should be down here. Right on. It would be nice if it didn't have that stupid burst of dust so I could see. Oh. Got him in the head. Careful. Oh. 
Oh, I got caught. Play a log. Bad tree. Oh no. I'm using my uh, my log a lot more often. I did like how the, uh, the mall was knocking down. Was knocking down everything we fought. Um, like, that would be good if you were in a team and one person was knocking them down and the other person was just weighing into them while they were down. But probably as a solo weapon, doesn't seem like it's worth it. Like as a solo... Probably better to, um... Stick to using your... your tools. This will cost 15 to... It should cost 15 to fix. Let's take a look. 10. Okay. That's reasonable because we can just we can farm up ten of these real quick and turn them into essence. Give. Okay. Um. We got five minutes in the clock of food. Okay. Oh, jeez. I hit him. Just didn't register. I saw a little puff of blood. Right over his back. Hey. I hate to be doing that. more of the blocking. Gotten, I'm bleeding. Oh, the hail. <sighs> Shit, boy. Ooh. Oh, perfect. Let's let them duke it out for a bit. Just watch in peace. As these creatures settle their own disputes. <laughs> A 
take a few pot shots. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh jeez. Oh boy. Oh boy. He didn't like me, uh... He didn't like me interfering with their, uh, little border dispute. I guess it's kind of my fault for, uh, leading them into said border dispute. So, um, yeah. Perfect. I should have taken a pot shot. Should have taken a pot shot. got ourselves a nice pile of hide and wood and bone and just apologies if these boar had to die but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do and look I was happy to leave them alone as long as they didn't attack me they attacked me so sorry uh, where's the little Okay, that's two wolves. Where's the third? Take a look right here. There is nothing. There's nothing. Isn't there like a baby boar too? I thought I saw a baby boar, but um seems to have vanished. Be it right away. Kill one of the boar? Is that what happened? Mm, no. This was our fighting ground, right? No, this is this is where we started it. We fought down there. And then no. I'm confused. I think I've lost myself. And, um... That's okay. So we are missing one wolf. Unless the one wolf went back. Still drizzling. Nobody would be this far. But the thing is, we were fighting in a pretty clear area. Okay, yeah, I've I've totally lost all bearing. And I don't know what to tell you. So we have six and four, so we got two. Alright. Oh, can we teleport? I will to respite. Here. Let's see what happens. It just it just happens. 
Okay. Is there a cooldown? Nope. Alright, well, props. I'm not sure if that's good. I feel like there should be a cooldown. That way you can't abuse it. And you can't just hit it and then escape from a really tough fight, for example. And then go back and do it over and over again. Like you have to push through. Um, make some leather. Close the door. We are savages here. Ooh, animal fiber. We need, we need that still. Um, you have three, so may as well use that here now. Finish that off. Hooray, we got our all our simple workstations. We could... We need one twine, one hide. Let's wait on this. What do you make, sir? Weak Dark Seal. Dun dun dun. That was wrong yesterday, by the way. Like, I thought... So... I'm so I'm so dumb. I just didn't realize. But, like, the Crew Foundation Stone uses stone blocks, which is just the basic shit you pick up off. Like, if when you mine a, a rock. That's what you... That's, that's a stone block. Like, for example, it says here... Stone block. So sorry for the misinformation yesterday, but hopefully it clears it up. So we could have had a stone floor, but I fucked up. You know what? Um, I feel like the sickle isn't worth it either, because we can just pick stuff up off, off the ground with our hands. We don't need to... Like, yes, the sickle is twice as good, maybe three times as good with the simple, but yeah, does it matter that much? I don't know. Yeah. Okay, we got prey meat. Put that away. It's nice maximum health, stamina, stamina regen, poison resistance. It says Miasma Resistance. Elfresia. So what we should do is keep... Prey meat for eating. And then use Predator meat for... Turning into goods. His health is nice and all, but I think we're better off with more stamina. In, in all, in, because health only applies really in, say, combat or certain puzzles, maybe. But stamina will affect us through more gameplay than just combat. So we should always try and go for more stamina over more health. Okay, more leather. Oh, you know what? We got one more that we forgot to get. Okay, what we need? We need a simple capelet. We need shirt and breeches. Get the shirt. Ooh. Oh. Take the makeshift capelet off because that's not not doing us any good. Um. These textures kind of need to change a bit. They're not great. Not gonna lie, I feel like the textures could be a little bit better. We're actually running on, I think, quality? Yeah, quality textures. We could put it to ultra quality. Let's see if that breaks our, our GPU. No, we're still good. And eh, not not really much better. This look could definitely be in, like improved. Like for example, this bag 
could be slightly like these patches of leather could be of different colors or different hues but at least it differentiates i'm sure they're still working on it and all these art assets are going to get improved over time but for now these are my notes like this needs a lot more i think this is missing another texture like rope the crimp it so yeah it looks like it's just they're just not done so okay it's cool it just doesn't look great that's all Okay, let's make the breaches. See, like that. See, this is patchwork. Why isn't the simple shirt patchwork? Like, this is obviously patchwork. This should be the same. Anyways, it's okay. Again, it, it's fine because we're gonna grow out of these these clothes pretty quickly. But still, it would be nice for them to have that little bit more polish um, on certain things. But again, AL, it is early access. We're getting shit done. Like, there's more to this game than just just the textures. So I understand. Um, I know he tired. He's super tired. Alright. Fully dressed. Not bad, right? It could definitely be better. It's okay. We're good. We're good. Switch to... I should put that over there. Again, if like they were just slightly different textures, different uh, hues, it would make them stand out more. Even if it's like a super simple, like mesh, like even like those changes would really, really make it more significant. It definitely 100% looks a lot better than say something from Seven Days to Die, where it looks like someone just put on like a, I don't know. I don't know. If you, if you haven't seen those, yeah, they're not great. Rust did it way, way better. Um, okay, let's get some sleep. No, wait, wait, wait. Before we do any of that, let's extract this old makeshift cape because we don't need it. Um, make some more ammo. Furniture bones. Um, this goes here. We should. We should cook this meat. No, we should turn this into sinew. Sorry, fiber. All of them. Wait. Oh, wait a minute. That's what I meant. Okay, we've got one left over. Let's leave. Oop. Yeah, let's leave that in there. Um, let's make some bandages. Huh? Oh. Oh, I'm hungry. like why why is he turning red i guess we should see what happens if we when we starve um i'm actually really curious like when we're tired and super hungry um i want to see what what the character goes through 
over there. We don't actually need to use anything to make bandages. Or, sorry, these guys. Um, what do you call them? Don't make them there. Oh, healing salves. Salves. There we go. Four more of those. What do we make? Oh, um, marbles. That's right. Ammunitions. Oh, wait. Let's leave that on. And take a quick nap. Did we make food? We did not. Wrong container, sir. Um, oops, what did you? Do we make all this meat, or do we make only some of it? Let's make some of it in case we need the meat for later. just happened to my throat. Maybe it's phlegm, I don't know. Let's grab that. That's munch. It's turning knife. That's really pretty. It occurs to me that yeah, you know, we've got the simple pickle already. We should start like farming up some minerals. Some of that quartz. Over here, like clear this up. Oh, we were fighting here, weren't we? This is quite a sight. Have our food out, watching the sun go down. Let's go over here. Actually, put the this guy away.
Take a screenshot, shall we? Definitely not bad. Not bad at all. It would be nice if they were volumetric clouds, but that's that's a huge performance hit. Arc, Asc Arc Ascended uses volumetric cloud clouds, volumetric clouds, and I believe they had to recently deactivate it in their game in order to actually have decent performance for players. Isn't that crazy? Uh, Star Citizen also has volumetric clouds. But their engine handles things a lot differently because it's um it's a heavily modified cry engine. Unreal Five, I don't think can handle volumetric clouds that well at all. But it's still pretty good, despite it not being volumetric. Or if it is, it's kind of not perfect. <laughs> Actually, it's a long way from perfect. Ooh, the transition was much nicer. It wouldn't just go straight to black. Beautiful. Let's take another screeny. And let's get back on our way. Oh, I don't know what that is. So we are going to go for it. Wandering out here at night is probably not a good idea. It probably shouldn't be a habit we get ourselves into. But there's probably going to be realms where going out at night is deadly. We can only do this here because our realm is super safe. Oh, we need to go unlock some cards. We got plenty of cash. So we need to go talk to this fella. Let's go back home. Which is instant. Ooh, wolves. Gold. Okay, this needs twine and hide. So, do we have any more hide left? I think so we do. I think we used it all. Yep. So, maybe we make a different kind of... Oops, it's not going to be there, is it? It's going to be... In our crafting menu. Lights. No. Oh, no, it's, it's a blueprint we got to buy. Not a problem. Let's put this guy back here so we don't lose it. Um, look at our sticks. What's our stick collection at? A hundred? Okay. Oops. Oh, wait. We got these guys. So let's make some blueberry seeds. No. There we go. Let's actually bring these out, see what we can do with these. Okay, how do we plant these? Back consume. Maybe we need a specific garden, we can't just put it in the ground. Whoop, cold. It would be cold. Yeah, I'm gonna assume that it's gonna be a, a plot that you look into and says, it'll say plant, and then you have seeds to plant into it. So, let's put these in a box.
Wink. Knock. Let's sleep tomorrow. And let's head off west this way. Around here and to there. Get the rest of our stuff. Or the rest of our blueprints. Which actually let's extract these now. Go. Also, if you're having problems in your realm. If you hit F2, you'll get the debug menu, and it will make a screenshot and put that in some place. We'll actually open up a little window. And anyway, this will show you like what's happening, what's going on, like there's problems, that, and then you send this to like Nightingale help or support or whatever over in the Discord, and they will help you out. If you're like if you're crashing or whatever, like do this, hit F2. And get that info, send the screenshot over. And try and replicate the problem and etc. You know what to do. Rico. Rico! You know what to do. Well, maybe we do. Maybe we do. Bonk. Yeah, we should probably start uh, farming some up, some of that stuff up. Uh, give me one second. Let me close the. The bug report window that opened up for me. I'm, I'm using, I, I'm honestly using fiber to, to farm for dust, because it's easy. It's everywhere, and this tool makes it very, very easy to, or very. For you to accrue a lot of it very fast. We're gonna have ourselves a snack in a couple in a minute. Almost a minute. I'm trying to veer away from this pirate thingy. And anyways, I wanna I also wanna see what's up here. get up on top of that. That would be really cool. Like it looks like there's something right there. Like one of those notes. You know what I mean? Or maybe just, that's just maybe there's just the light like shining off a rock. Yeah, probably just light shining off a rock. Ooh, I can't grab this. Or this. Oh, because my it's only rated, what, 20? Yeah, it's only 20. So we can get anything that is ranked 20 and below. And these are 40s. Ooh, this is a 20. Or at least not 40. I think it's a 10. We couldn't get it with the makeshift because makeshifts were 6. A bunch of quartz. Like, don't worry about the stuff falling off. Let's, let's actually eat food. 
Now mit Arms. Yeah, don't worry about the stuff that falls off. It falls down the cliff, because you'll still get them. Not like you'll walk down there and chase after it, but like when you hold down E to pick up anything, it pulls in all the things that are around you that came out of the rock. So yeah, Oop. doesn't matter how far away it's gotten from you, you'll still pick it up. Ooh, see, like there's a here's a good. I'm sure some. Let's let them do this thing. I'm sure some will fall off, hopefully. We'll see. Okay. Yeah, I see some have fallen off. Oh, that one's too far away. But like the one that was next to it came up to us. So as you can see, there's a bit of a circumference, a diameter, a radius from you, but we still got all of it. Like, if one falls and it's too far, then whatever. But as long as they're within distance of you, they'll come to you. Okay, so let's arm up in case they come after us. Oops. Nope. Oops. Where'd those wolves go? Sure. Keep on moving. We got some tin, we got some quartz. Is there any more tin up there? I'd actually like to grab another node if we can. I think that's one. Come on, get up there. Tardos. If come on. get it together, sir. Ooh. You? No. Okay, maybe there isn't any more. You know what? I'm gonna break you. Destroy you, stand, stand, sandstone. Oop. It still got falling impact after that. Okay, we need to practice this. We need to practice when to, how far away from the ground we need to be before we hold. I think it's not bad. If, obviously, if we go too late, we might kill ourselves. So, better safe than sorry. We'll have to test that a bit more in the future. Oh, shit. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Really weird. Let's get up here and take a photo. Oh, look at the, the, the... You need to have a photo mode in this game. We're real bad. So we need to come back once the sun is showing off more of it. I mean... It would be nice also if we could like climb the entirety of this somehow. 
like get up on there and just like float away with your your umbrella. That'd be really cool. Wait, that only had five tin? Really? Okay, so at least the grass seed, I guess that's another reason why this is great. Because the grass comes back pretty quickly. The trees may not, but the grass does. And so that's a nice, fast way of getting... Getting, um... Dust. Why is that dude hurt? Are they in, like, danger of dying or something? Okay, we're gonna make them beds because apparently they can't can't do it. Maybe that's for us too. Ooh, ooh, what's this say? Magic chest. Um. So yeah, if you make their stuff, they will thank you. Would you quit? Ooh, he put wood in there. Um. I mean, it's fair. It's a fair trade. I don't see them complaining about it. You know, they're probably like, oh, thanks. You gave us more things than we had in there because they only had 16 16 logs and we gave them 25 well you know it's it's fair more than fair Oop. Oop. oh hi how you doing oh for hire for ire we want do you want to hire this guy How are you? No, no. They, they've got dialogue, so probably not. Mission protection. Flood, flood, flood. Okay, nope. We don't need to talk. I think we hired this guy. But I think if we get him killed, he dies. So maybe he's safer here. Although he needs, he needs like, sleep and healing and shit. Can we, like, give this to you? There you go, buddy. No? You don't like it? Let's get more tin. Over here. When in Rome. We should probably collect our quart the quartz here too. You know, while we've got our buffs going, we should take advantage of that box. And once it runs out, then we can go. We can go talk to. They're, they're too far. Awesome. Okie dokes. Yeah, but once we once we run out. Of food. Let me go talk to uh, what's his face. It's some new stuff. Oh no. It's right, right. I mean, these aren't too too heavy. It's obviously the rocks. But we can't, we can't have, we can't farm too much more. All right, fine. Hello, Peter. Uh, what do we need? We need the antiquarian. 
which how do we do that what's this oh i think we already got one of these right did we Oh, it contains requirements I haven't unlocked. Purchase items in the shop to unlock all the requirements. Um. We should probably get this. We need... Are these all done? Yes, that's our own... Uh, light. Let's get all these. Is there a fast way to do this? Can I double click? Can I hit enter? Face? Nope. E? Nope. Okay. Calm down. Calm down. It's okay. Not, you're not dying. I know you're tired and stuff, but um. Okay, so now we can buy them. Now we've bought everything in there. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Buy the... The state card, the explorer card, angler, and beast. Cool. That should be everything, except for the resources. And... Water? We can probably farm water from somewhere. We could also use some to buy pelts or hides. Okay, so let, let's think about this. Do we need anything? We could buy stuff. Because we got a lot of cash. A lot of dust. So. What do we need to make? You know what? We'll be back. We'll be back, Sir Peter. I really do feel sorry for this guy. It looks like he's like just dying. Okay, I got a question that is Who's that guy? You also saw someone here, right? Looks like him, but he was over here. Like he just went this way. Okay, anyways. Okay, so I want to check and see if we can if we can still uh, travel to respite if we are maxed out on weight. Hey, um, Arian? Excuse me? Yes, hi. Hi, how are you? Dude. Hey! <laughs> Bastard. Bastard took our shit. We should be almost full. Oh, that's probably what it was. I had this on. He moved in the background. But I thought it was here. Maybe? 
Maybe that's what happened? Okay, let's see if you put our stuff somewhere. Nope, no boxes. That guy just up and took our... our tin. You know what we haven't done is look up, looked up here. I can't believe he yoinked our, our tent. Oh. Oh, it's this. The Antiquarian Site of Power. The first step of the Initiate. Induction into the Order of the Red Cross Knights. You stand now before the gateway to our first sacred site of power. He seemed to loom over us despite his short, sta short stature. Armor gleaming in the faded sun, every bit of picture of valor I had imagined a knight to be. Cross this threshold is to be deemed worthy of our ranks. None who lack the courage, the strength, the heart will pass the bounds of our ancient magic. Alter here and be forever barred. My hands shook, my breath caught. We turned away at the precipice. After a long time of longing. After a lifetime of longing. If your attentions are true, young squires, I have naught but surety that you will meet me on the other side, as equals. With stately grace, he turned from us and dispersed the glimmering magic of the gate. In moments, it heard held firm anew, and we approached. First step of initiate. Induction into the Order of the Red Cross Knights. I'm going to stop doing the titles. When I stood at last, beyond that fabled doorway, I saw my joy reflected in the faces of my companions, darkened only by the... Whoa! This is not good. Not good. Not good. Oh no. Not this. Ah. Get to block. None of salmon. Yeah, get him. Get him, Marion. die. Okay, that was not... That's not cool, game, to put something you can read and then have enemies immediately attack you. Not cool. But lesson learned, going in there is... hostile. Um, we should have gone in there with food. So... Consume...
Where's the bomb? Oh wait, this guy died? Really? Did we kill him? There's no way. I was right in his head. Are we hitting low or something? I didn't know if he has dropped just now. That was weird. Just from the effects. <laughs> yeah, not a cool game. <laughs> For giving us something to read and then a bunch of dudes to kill. Immediately after. At least give us a little space, right? Put it outside. Hubris infusion. Hubris infusion. L3 gen. When applied to equipment, etc., etc. Slight healing potion. I like how this slight looks all super fancy. It just only gives you a little bit of health. Something else is in here. I can hear him. I know you all can hear him too, so... Man, we missed this... I'm sure we probably have the lore somewhere in our journal, in our guidebook. Um, how do we open the guidebook? Oh, right here. Is there a hotkey, perhaps, for the guidebook? Let's see. No. There should be. Codex. No, it would be what was it? First step of the initiate. Okay, let's go read this real quick. Let's do it outside. So hopefully, we don't run into any uh, trouble. Book. Okay, where was it? Uh, when I stood at last beyond that fabled doorway, I saw my joy reflected in the faces of my companions, darkened only by the sorrow of those left behind. Welcome, sister, to the Red Cross Knights. He bowed his head, and I could scarcely believe it was me. To me, he spoke. I lurched forward in a fumbling response. As the final squire entered, we began our descent. This place was erected before any earthly being set foot in these realms. Empyrean Fae long ago placed their vast knowledge of the infinite into these chambers, that their kinsfolk, not ours, might learn to journey even further, farther. But we have distilled their abandoned wisdom into forms we can understand. It is the sacred duty of the night to protect humanity from our prophesied overreach and the disaster that would follow. 
cool. Oh. Oh, we can see it. We can see it, see it. Okay, let's continue. Continua. I feel like they're here, uh, like a one, one floor down. Oh no, we are way down. Okay, let's let's go test. Actually, can we teleport from here? Can. That's a little bit overpowered. Again, if you're like in super trouble, way down, super trouble inside of a dungeon. You shouldn't... They shouldn't allow you to do that. Okay, uh, you can go there and there. Sylphic infusion. Cumbrance. When applied to equipment, this infusion provides increased carrying capacity. We should apply these to our stuff. Now that we've got simple, good, decent things. Uh, pop, 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 pop. Ooh, what? Advanced bound fiber. Let's keep that one. Uh, arcane wick. Wait, these are refined goods, so let's actually... Let's take... Let's take all the refined goods. Bound bristle. That's probably really good too. Down in there. And let's... Can I move this? No. Ooh, you can rename them. I can move it? Nope. I wish we could destroy it. Oh, that would be... Maybe we can. Let's just try and... It's got 400 health? What? Oh, wait. I'm hitting that one too? What the hell? Probably a better way to do that. Like, yeah, it's like I damaged this now by accident. And this one. That's kind of annoying. But I just want to put two here. I want to put one here. Like so. Take all this out of here and instead oops put in all the refined good. Oops, not you. We'll go through that again in a second. I'm sure I missed something. Uh, let's put all the food over here. Potions. Or should we put potions in the... Let's put it in there instead. We'll call this... Our VDC. Okay. 
So this is going to be raw goods. As, so the second, the second we come in, the first thing we do is dump off all of our goods. Um, and refined goods. Then let's leave this empty for now and let's add these things. Put seeds in there. Let's put seeds in this one. That's all going to change soon, no, no, I'm sure, because we're going to get better better chests, better storage. Now this works. This works. Okay. How do we unlock this thing? The Antiquarian Major Card is unlocked for completion of the Antiquarian Site of Power. Okay, so we just have to go through that building. Let me read it. With my well-being managed for the moment, it's time to begin down the long road towards Nightingale City. Buck has told me of a nearby site of power which, contain, which contains all I'll need to craft a new, more powerful realm card. In order to access it, however, I'll need to nurture my hope. E to passing through the site's gate. Cool. It's challenges. Recruit a survivor. Oh! Oh, we get essence dust. Cool. Revive a survivor. Be revived by a survivor. Oh. Oh. So, we should have actually gotten Marion. On our side, when we had the chance. Building. Apprentice builder. Ooh. Money. Thanks. Build structures using 50 pieces. Oh, cool. There's a nice, nice little... Uh, looks here. Unlock advanced... Shack advanced roofs. Was this intermediate? Oh, we need we need one more. This deserts. Is it advanced? A hundred pieces, sure. Tudor or not Tudor? Okay, that's clothing. We'll need dress. Let's claim that. We need some epic stuff. Oh, that's right. Um, we should have gotten. Rewards? Yeah, yeah, yeah. From the stream. You know, if you're if you're streaming and stuff, you get, you know, things like this aristocratic outfit and the umbrella. We'll grab those, but we don't need them right now. I think we're doing pretty good. We'll get them at some point. Okay, so now, now that I know that, we gotta go back. Um... We could try to take out one of these occupations. We should also recruit Marion into the party. We got some crude plant fibers. Nope. Do we... We don't have leather, do we? No. No, we don't. I was say, because it'd be nice to make a hammer. In the uh, stress test, I couldn't repair anything with the hammer. I want to see if that works now. That'd be nice. Let's take a quick nap. Naparuni. Okay, um. Up, 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 up. Maximum stam. We're gonna need some food. So we should probably go hunting.
Actually, what we should do is mining. I mean, do we need to? Not really, because we don't need any of that stuff yet. Okay, we need to go find some wolves. Okay. Hi, wolves. Maybe we fight up here? Right over his head, then right under his head. Hit him. Oh boy. Ow, no, ow. Piercing. Oh, too late. Too late. That fella had a lot of meat. Okay, let's fix this up, apparently. Need more wolves. <laughs> I know we could attack deer, but like I was saying in, in yesterday, um, I don't want to attack passive animals or friendlies. Or fearful animals. Ones that are non-aggressive. I don't want to attack them. Like, I don't want to mess with those boar because they're, they're not actively going to attack me. I mean, unless we step into their territory or mess with their... Mess with their baby, then yes, they will attack us. But that's after provocation. We don't, we don't have to do that. Uh, what we need to do is... Sorry, sorry dear. What we need to do is find berries. What kind of food? I think there's no bears around here because bears suck. Take a quick gander up here before we go down there. Oh, boar. I'm betting, I'm willing to bet that, uh, bound. Well, yep. Yep. Uh, 
Him. He spot me. He's. Missed. Does that suck? In your face. There's so many of them. Ow. Hi. Finally. And I'm glad the boars didn't, uh, girls. Thank you, boars, for being decent. Or did they run away? I ran. Well, at least now we know we can survive those without insta dying. Stuff all there. Release Hope Echo and a puzzle core. What do you do with this? Jerk ass. No oh, jerk asses. Let's use the pick. Oh, let's miss the with the pick. Oh, that hurt. That hurt him a lot. Ow. Okay, I can't see shit in this. Get to a clearing. Okay, this is much harder to hit with, because it's not a swipe. Oh, it's still 54. I hurt him a lot because he uses a headshot. Ow. Ow. Oh no. Not greedy there. Dude. Dude cut me off. Jerk. We got four instead of three, so it's at least an even number. Hopefully, now we can make uh, light sconces. Nope, nope, we need leather for something else. I don't remember what, but we need it. More berries. Where's all the red berries? Hi. What's 
this? Hail infusion, injury resist. Ooh. So why are why do mushrooms sparkle? Alright, let's let's mine all this stuff. Oh, we still have the uh, stamina. Can't mind that. lot of food. What is this anyways? Well, oh, tell me. Nope. We got 40 stamina. Three buffed. Three food buffs. Ain't bad. Ain't great either. Is this tin? Is it gonna fall down? Yes. I think we grabbed it just in time, but, um... One might have still, like, slipped all the way down, didn't see. We're not about to go get that. Uh, let's grab this quartz. Item is breaking. I can't even begin to say how much seeing something break apart because you're hitting it. It's very, very, very satisfying to see in a in any game. Like what was that shooter like way back when? Red Action? I think. Like you're on Mars and I think it was on PlayStation. You're on Mars and you're like fighting for the resistance of whatever. I don't remember exactly. The thing that was notable though is that it had destructible environments. Like you could like shoot the walls and the walls would like crumble. And that was really satisfying. That was like as gamers, like me and my friends are like, wow. And that's still, it still kind of affects us. Like when we do it in these games, right? Like seeing things crumble and break. Sorry, I'm just trying to look around the building, but okay, nothing. So, I think I was saying, I was talking about it yesterday a little bit, about how um, Arc Ascended's like, gathering system just kind of feels flat. Because you like you hit a rock, and you don't really sense that you're doing anything to it until it suddenly breaks apart and like disappears. Like, as part of an animation. It's not organic like here, where like if you hit the right side of the rock, the right side of the rock will break apart. Again, it's very similar to um, Icarus, except Icarus does it just a little bit better. It's more refined. But this is still 
super satisfying. Just, ah. I love hitting it, doing something, and it hit. Blows up in a million pieces. Okay, what do we got? Oh, we had diamond? Cool. I don't. Let's follow in his tracks because, like, as you can see, like, when he goes through the forest, he knocks things down. stealth in our get a little stealth action going okay now let's travel yeah this is too powerful it shouldn't let us do this it's too cheap come on buddy come on buddy make it in your home Prey pelts, three predator pelts. Um, if I keep these, let's keep, let's put those away. Calm down, sir. Calm down. Like me getting used to my own. Nope, none of these. None of these is for us. It's this one. Let's make some leather. Wait, wait. Before we do anything, what do we need the leather for? This? Yeah, we need, we need hide. Oh, just hide. And twine. We need how much time? Two? Oh, dang. Well, now we can't move it. But it won't allow us to move it before. Like, we tried to, but it didn't actually move. Well, that's alright. Okay. Fair enough. Um... Actually, how much ammo do we have left? 81. Let's make two of these. That with us. Oh, we do need to put this away. Ale infusion. Okay, we need to start using these. Oh, let's put those potions away. I was going to say, it would be nice if there was a sorting method, and it looks like there is a sorting method. Sorting method. Piecing weight grouped. Newest first. I like grouped. Oh, 
Okay, what do we need? We need... First, let's fix this. Yeah. All our stuff could use repairing, but let's wait until it's like way down on red before we start doing that. That way we're not wasting... Oh, yeah. Unless That way we're not wasting essence dust. Cold. We need a hammer that requires two leather, which we don't have yet. Actually, instead of that, let's put this away. I was going to make um, healing salves, but there's, there's no point. Also, this needs to not be there. Make some food. Oh, that stamina sucks. Maybe we should use something like this. The cape aloe plus the shrooms. Doesn't really matter. We got tons of it, so. Sleepy time. Sleepy time. Alright, let's go put this away. Let's turn this into that. And let's just turn those into bullets, because why waste it? Go back that way and try and finish this. Mornings are super nice here, very serene. Looks like our morning commute is about the same. Headed this way as well. Hey man, Good morning. I guess he's doing well. He's healthy. Eating sounds like it hurts the guy. Or putting on stuff sounds like it hurts. I'm sure they're working on it. Probably just placebo... Um, placebo sound effects. I heard wolves. Wolves and boars. They're done. Let's just totally miss. Actually, we shouldn't be stingy with the ammo. Here we go. Oh, my God. 
Man, let me just whiff all over the place. Okay, we're getting better at fighting these. Great. We're starting to suck a lot less. We're able to actually go toe to toe, which is kind of nice. Good feeling. Let's repair these now. I really kind of would like to have that umbrella and a better hot bar, a hotkey. Oh shit. But we could deal with them, I suppose. But we got we already got a lot of fighting to do today, so let's just move on. Alright, just quartz hanging out. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'll take it. Where you at, Marion? Let's go do some adventuring. I was thinking, like, I don't want to take this guy in case he dies, right? I would, I would feel guilty for getting that guy killed. Manage equipment and inventory. Man, your stuff is not better than mine, but it looks better. Okay. You need healing stuff, aren't you? Give you three, four, five. Or... I'm gonna take that tin back. Actually, no, you can actually you can carry that. You can carry all the heavy stuff. There you go. Enjoy. Ooh, let's fix this. in here. Okay, we, we fight. Anyway, I was gonna say... Oh. Am I stuck on something? That's weird. On, friend. I was gonna say, if I, I wonder, does he sneak? If I sneak? No. Maybe he's just weirding out. Sneak with me. No? You don't want to sneak? He's not a subtle guy, I guess. Well, he doesn't just keel over because he's got that tiny bit of health. Hopefully that's just a bug. Already got that, right? 
Yeah, we got that. You can definitely hear them. How did you get there? What, what just happened? Why is the music going all crazy? Did you get killed? Nope, he's over there. I think pathing is a little bit broken. Oop. This is bad times if he comes up here and attacks me. He, like finds his way up or whatever. We can't actually hit him. to figure out what's going on with our Ooh, a chest just hanging out in the back here hi i'm gonna take all you oh we forgot to put s those freaking essences on our equipment would probably help a lot hey dude where you at are you like running around the, the outside Dude, we got shit to do. Quit, quit, quit fucking around. Okay, let's try and get inside again. dude. I almost fell off the edge there because I jumped. Oh man, come on. In here. Dude, dude, no. Okay, well. Guess we're doing this alone. Although, actually, before we do that, let's go... put some of these essences in our equipment. So, let's travel to Resp. Yes. Does he come with us? No. 
That's interesting. Oh, yes. Come on in, Marion. Mikasa Sukasa. Um, what are we doing? We won't stack, really? Okay, sure. Oh, so that... It does stack sometimes? I did. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Whatever the case is. Um... Away. Oh man, I hate that it goes here automatically. Or really what's annoying is that you can't pull straight out of your hotbar. What are we doing? I'm gonna put that away, yes. This guy. And the bones? Yeah, let's put away the bones. The rest of that we can you can like turn to essence dust or something okay but what we came back for was this stuff how do we use charms Okay. How to play? Um. Okay. Inventory. How do we do endurance infusion? Sorry, they're infusions, not essence. So that was my miss. My misspoke. I misspoke. So the green one is probably yeah un uncommon rare. These are common. Why no available item item to apply charm? Okay, so we need something specific. Isn't that weird? So like when I right click. And then left click off, it rotates very slightly. How weird. Let's put these three back since we can't do anything with them. And let us. We can't. Oh, we need some. Here. That's probably why. No, we still can't. Maybe it was this. So how do we apply it? Okay, put this down and put this down. Maybe it's a bug. Let's look. Close inventory. Reopen. Nope. Maybe just. Blocking stamina. Nope. Okay, so there must be something else that has to be done here. Not sure what, and if. Someone knows, please comment or in the chat.
Oh, actually, let's look in glossary. Maybe something's up here. Uh, infusion. No entry. Yeah, it is in essence. Okay, let me read this. Essences. Essence. Much studied yet barely understood. What we, the Calcularia, have gleaned thus far is this. They are the fundamental building blocks of all things in the realms. Each is, itself, a potent piece of the realm's magical constitution, imbued with its own magical and unique character. For this power, they are highly valued, useful in a variety of enchantments and imbuements. Their acquisition, however, is difficult, relying on still imprecise science. Despite our efforts, essence has never been uh, successfully extracted from any material on Earth, begging a much larger question. Signed, Ada Lovely. Okay, this doesn't have anything we need, sadly. You would think it'd show up in here because it's something we can pick up. But apparently not. Ooh, I like how it tells you which realms. I do remember this being quite different from the stress test. I'll have to like look it up again. I feel like it's a little bit more refined. Okay. Um. Since we can't do anything with those, then we put them back. This is full, right? Yep. Okay, how, how did he get down here? Time twelve fifty five. Okay. Almost broken. miss all of them. <laughs> oh look, baby boar. Are there big boar? Sounds like Bound just warped in. Yep, there they are. Suck it, fucker. Get him. Get him, Marion. Fuck that dude.
Maybe we should have brought them all. That would have been a good power. I'm hurt. Oops. Hey, man. Was blocking. Well done, sucking. That makes it a lot easier to survive. Thank you. Thank you, Marion, for being there, even though your pathing kind of is questionable. Everyone should be gone, except for that baby boar. One of his parent boars over there. Let's uh, let's get rid of him first. Bit of rubber pending. Q <laughs> boar. Sorry, Mario. Give me this. Smack me in the face. Good job, sir. Good job. You deserve a raise. Can I actually hit this guy? Yes. The answer is yes. Can you back up, please? Thanks. Nope. Just gonna stand there. Here, please. Thanks. Your shoes. You seriously gonna hit yourself in the head with a tree you you felled? Wait, what? Oh, interesting. What? Well, the more you know. Malefic card. Look. That's the crazy one, right? Play this card to plunge a realm into eternal night and increase the yield of the bound's resources. Blackest ink seems to call out to the bound beyond, urging them forth. Once alerted to your presence, they will gladly oblige. Very cool. There you go, fella. Grab us some shrooms. End Veil card. Play this card to move more quickly. Oh. Leap safely to great heights and use stamina more efficiently. One look at this airy parchment forces a childlike smile. Thoughts fill the mind with drifting, floating, feeling light. Flo drifting, floating, feeling light as air after each bounding leap. Very, very cool. Dang, this place has some chests. Artisan card. Play this card to improve the durability of crafted items and have crafting stations always augmented by the ideal environment, regardless of placement. Oh. For a struggling craftsman unable to master their art alone, this card offers a fine solution. 
where our human hands falter, let the realm take hold, improving your work effortlessly. Nice. Dude, those were, those were great finds. I'm pretty happy though we uh, came out here. You gonna, you gonna, you gonna pick that up? No? Sure. See, now we're like half tired. Oh, there's the, the, the kid boar. Right. Dude, you just left like trash everywhere. Okay, I was hoping you'd climb up that, but that was a negative, Captain. Now I'm a lot more curious about that area too. Like, I know we saw it yesterday, or in game day before. Now that we've got Marion, I think we can actually handle it. I mean, we could handle it before, it just takes forever, and that's. that's no fun. Okay, I guess this place does not have bound. How interesting. This. The resource. That looks cool. What is this? It takes 230 gear score, whatever. Whatever that is. Whatever rank or whatever material that is. All the shits in color. We're not gonna attack by wars over in here. Oop. Looks like a, a font problem. On the dealings of Fay, April twelfth, eighteen eighty six. The lesser courts? Uh, oh yeah, lesser fake courts are defined either by their lineage, spawning from a lesser elder, what this means I can scarcely fathom, or by the variation in blood among their, or by the variation in blood among their members. Even a court founded by a former member of the illustrious summer court would be relegated to lesser status due to the lack of uniformity among their subjects. Unlike greater courts, the lesser appear and dissolute, dissolve. Unlike greater courts, the lesser appear and dissolve. They freely branching off to form courts anew. They are dedicated... Man, reading this is hard, and reading it aloud is harder. Dictated by the monarch. Wait. Dedicated, often, single-mindedly to an ideal or concept. Dictated by the monarch, which binds all courtesans to follow suit. The strength of their magic manifests this ideal in the physical world through varying degrees, allowing most fey and their homes to be readily identified by the observant traveler. Though the lesser courts are manifold, few are known to us in any detail. The Court of Hearts 
costs. No. The Hort Court of Hearts. Court loss? Yes, the Court of Hearts. Court loss, sacrifice, and maladies of the mind. Covet. Court of Hearts covets loss, sacrifice, and maladies of the mind. Okay. The Court of Empyrean builds to someday understand the Celestial. Court of Foretellers seek to know the future. Great forward. The Court of Excarnation, architects of the Achilles. Achilles Deer are dedicated to the shaping of flesh and verdure. It's verdure. We know the names of a few others, and even less their deeds. Lesser courts. Right on. Now, how are we at on... We're pretty full up. Kind of hoping we'd run into a fight, but that didn't happen, so... Just enjoy the architecture, yeah? I wonder what this used to be. Or maybe what it was built for? I'm just super curious what this thing could be. Or what it was. It's, I don't think it was designed to float. I think that's just a, a side effect of being here. You're gonna pick up stuff and not even. Or are you gonna chop down stuff and not even pick them up? What the hell? What the hell? Hey man, here, take this. He has no weight limit. What he has is a capacity limit. We can carry whatever. Right on. Here, carry all the heavy stuff. <laughs> Please, thank you. Just take a look up here, see what's going on. Oh, is that a bathtub? Yeah. Toilet. And I guess a sink that we can somehow climb upon. Yeah, it's a sink. that tree once. Oh. Ooh, wolves.
please pick up everything around you, not just like one thing. But there, here, pick up two, three, four. Nice, nice, nice. Good job, sir. You, you still have. Food. Hey, buddy. You, um, forgot that stuff. Yeah. Just wanted to make sure you saw. I don't want to get up here. Ooh, let's look at that place. Unless it's far. Use this. Now we can we can totally get there. Love seeing the ruins of old worlds. That's just so phenomenal to me. Maybe we can't get there. I mean, it looks like we could walk there. I get soaked, but you know, whatever. This is going to take a long time. Oh, yep, we got to swim. Oh, we have stamina. I don't think we can make it. I mean, there's a lot of rocks and stuff, so maybe we can. Okay, let's, uh, let's eat. the safer way to go. If we stand still, do we still lose stamina? Yes, we do. Noted. Is that a wolf? Right in the face. Okay, let's get some clear current. Ouch. Good job, Marion. Make a good team, you and me. Honestly, I'm pretty happy that it's not, um, round that, that showed up. Because that could have been bad.
Oh, this place had a tin ingot. That's it. <laughs> you know what? That's cool. That's cool with me. We got some animal parts. I wish these were a little bit more explorable. Like, I'd like to go more. I'd like to explore vertically. As it is, there's no way for us to... Unless we could jump up there, that... There's no way. Sadly. Okay, instead of going all the way back there, let's teleport home because we are tired too. So, travel to respite, yes please. Oh, how you doing buddy? Probably need a bit of food. Let's see, what do we need? I think we were eating prey meat, right? Out of way. Excuse me. Thanks. Okay, we're kind of full up on stuff. What can we get rid of? Well, we don't have to get rid of anything, now that I think about it. We can just move this stuff to a different box. Um, let's put that in here. What does this do? Foul smelling and thick as molasses. This sinister liquid flows through the bounds. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's just put that on. Uh, yeah, let's leave that there. We can go there. Did you just add. Okay, I don't know. I think he added stuff to the, the fuel, but. Oh, right. Give me stuff. Did you put wood in there? You put all that wood in there? You cannot be trusted, Marion. Wood away, all this, all that. Let's actually bring the. Hmm. Now we need to figure out what to do with that. Yeah, we can't just. <sighs> can't just willy nilly turn it into leather. Food, you go there, you go there. We'll make that in a second once we're all. once our inventory is all sorted out. Able bone. We actually need two of these, don't we? Hey, dude, calm down. I'm so tired all the time. that with us. Let's take all the fabled stuff and, and these gems and put them into a different basket. I can put one here. Oh, can you stack them? No, you cannot.
a shame. Anyways, put that, 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 and these guys. Let's get the food too. The fabled meat. Wait, what's in here? Oh, Everheart deer. Out of the way. Okay, what kind of food do we make? Do we need food? Because we got, we got plenty now. We got mixed plants and roasted meat. Which gives us a pretty good chunk of stamina. Okay, what time is it? 12.14 a.m. Wait, what? Has the day been, like, extra long or something? Did I miss it turning to night? I probably did. Perfect. I just, just didn't think. Alright, moving on. Moving on. Go back in this direction and um, try and complete unlock antiquarian card. It's been bothering me for a while, so let's do this now. Let's repair this. Let's also turn this into junk. Keep the rocks. Let's destroy this X. There we go. Now we got a, a thousand and twenty-seven dust. Twenty-seven? Yeah, thousand twenty-seven. Dust. Dusty dust. And you know what? We may as well just repair... Repair, repair it all. Through it. Ah, nice to see. Everything's nice. Um, wait, it didn't... It didn't take away our dust. Is that a bug? Well, thank you, Mr. Bug. Here, let's, let's actually, let's test it. Let's get a little bit of wear on this. You're hitting trees again. Here, let's mine some stuff. That's a good idea, yes. If we can mine stuff up here. I don't think we'll be able to. Yeah, I... Oh. Yeah, no. We don't have enough smacking power. So, alright, let's move out of here. I want to go this that way. No boar. Where are they attacking? It's alright, let's move on. We got plenty of... Could probably use more hide, to be perfectly honest. Let's keep moving. I want to try and unlock the schematic.
This is actually kind of a cool shot, so let's... Nope, that's not what I want to do. This is what I want to do. Marion, can you please leave this? Oh. F5 switches between first and third. Cool. Uh, the lighting kind of sucks. But, um, oh well. It just, like, shifted. Take that again, shall we? Let's actually do it from down here, too. It's more ominous. Let's get W sass out of the shot. That's cool. It shortens the name. So it only it only expands when you get closer. That is that is actually impressive attention to detail because if they're thinking about something like this, which for you and me it's a very like you pass it, you forget it, but it's kind of in the back of your mind. But if they do that for something like names like this, because it adds a kind of because it goes from a, um, like a shortening, like, you know what I mean? Like it's got a dot in it. Um, it gives her more of an air of, I don't know. Like it's almost professorial. Like this person has knowledge just because of that, the way they handled this. But like, anyways, like, so my point is like, if they're willing to do that for names, even even though the effect overall effect is very minimal, and they're probably doing that for other things within the game as well, things that have more like mechanical significance, maybe. But I don't know. Okay, let's let's cut her off again just a little bit so we can get more of the shot. I wish the the light was a bit more dramatic, but um. We'll try and retake this at some point. Okay. Now... Let me do this now. I think it might be much better to wait until morning to do this. Thankfully they don't uh, respawn. Okay, I have a problem. If we Oh wait, no, we can. There are stairs. Never mind. I was going to say, if we drop down, we might be stuck. I don't want to be stuck. Hey, Marion, over here. Over here, buddy. Why, why are you on the outside? Why is that doing that? Is it just a graphical glitch? It's got to be. Okay, cool. Okay, Marion. Can you, can you come over here, please? Please? Over here, over here, please. Over here. Come on. 
You can do it, sir. You can do it. Alright, just seeing if we could interact with the torches. Okay, yeah, so we need to work on pathing quite a lot. But so far, it's, um, uh, it's okay. And Shrouded definitely also has pathing problems. But again, like, both of these titles are in early access, so... Problems like this are to be expected. Why does it feel like I'm not... Crouching. I think I'm bugged out. That's my view that's stuck, I see. Where did... I need you to back me up, buddy. Discord music is really getting to me. Oh, how do we get over there? Uh -huh. What you gotta do about it? Oh, nice. Oh, they have red eyes. Oh, they have red eyes. Oh, jeez. Marion, come over here, dude. Okay, I sh shouldn't be cold because there's torches right there. These torches do not emit heat. I guess I missed. Did I hit him? Smacked him in the uh, calf. Oh man. I am chilly. Damn, just wasting ammo here. Marion, dude, do not stand in, not stand in it. Good shot. Good shot, man. Props. Props for that shot. Oh, we didn't make healing salves. Damn it. Ah. 
is empty. Dude, what's the hell of a throw? I feel like we've hit that guy before. Can we like drop this? can't like drop drop it if he comes back with full health I'll be mad you serious We need to back up. We need to back up. Maybe what we can do is we can we can see if Marion gets downed. Who does an arm? Just not be here during my time. It's too cold. All right, let's go back. Too cold. We need bones, we need fiber, and let's use all the prey bones. only made one. Yeah, that was that was brilliant. Let's rest for the night and then try again in the morning.
Oh, we have to put it in seven instead of six. All right, have a snack <clears throat> and some meat. All right, doing good. Ooh, let's try this again, the whole repair all thing. So it's going to cost 98, which means we should be sub a thousand essence dust. And it didn't take it. Yep, so it's it's broken, so... Here's another thing, let's actually test this. Let's see if the right click repair actually takes essence dust, because I haven't... I haven't been pay being pay paying attention. I was, I've been assuming that it's um, just doing it. So let's try it out. take 10 away so we'd be at you know 10 18 it doesn't so okay maybe it's in testing maybe they're still figuring it out maybe it's still to be implemented um we'll try and put in a, a bug report later Get the fuck out of here! Oop. Leave the bug alone. Oh, Marion, look out. Probably gonna have to hit Marion here. Cool, man. He's like, Wah. he's going ape shit. Fucking boars. Is, is one enough? No, it takes two. Noted. Aaron, man, get get your, your junk. Where are we going? We're going that way. New day. Let's re let's see if it refreshed. Did not. It might also be like seven days where it, it counts. Maybe if it if it does refresh, it might count after the last time you opened the box, as opposed to like 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 with uh, enshrouded. We'll test that box again, or a different box, like maybe. There's a box up there that we can probably check.
have an idea that it's stuck right here. Alright, let's get back to it. Get back to it. Still over there. Wait. Okay, no, they can't. They can't just come up. But if we go down, how do we get out? We can teleport, I guess. You just had to move, right? Right then and there. Okay. How did I miss? That's it. That, this is not not gonna do anything. Taking pot shots at these guys. So let's figure out a better plan of attack. Do we get on the other side here? Do we jump down? Hook steps. Oh geez, maybe not. Take it to the face. And I'll come up these steps. Oh shit. I thought he would come up. didn't hit him, I don't know. Things in the way. This aim's way too fucking good. I don't fucking wait. Hey, where'd the other guys go? Ow. 
dude. Can you not cut behind me? Ow. Okay, what? Dude, that's bullshit. was annoyance. Okay, theoretically we could just like float down there, but I'd rather go down um, floor by floor. Actually, let's go here real quick. I want to see if there's anything behind. Nope. Six spooky voices. <laughs> Steps down. Keep going around though. Want to see? Nada. doing all right there's there's probably gonna be stuff to fight down there so oh we need food Marion go. Those guys are way too dangerous. Okay. The fact that the NPC keeps flashing is obviously there that seems to be some kind of uh Oh no. Like placebo or when Seems to be some kind of placebo for when um, they lose their passing like indefinitely, and so they just teleport to you. It's pretty common in games, but I think it might be a uh, might not be the permanent solution. Oh, geez, almost fell off there. Good job, Marion. You're actually uh. Pretty good. Pretty good. Despite a few problems. That's okay. So knowing that that doesn't really take away our essence dust, we can just repair and as we like. Is there more stuff down here? 
Yeah. Where you at, Marion? You need to back me up. Oh, shit. If it's one dude, we can just rush him. But I doubt it's just one dude. Got to revive him. It's kind of shitty that it just gets up, but that's again, that's probably another thing that's in progress. Because, like, you should. I feel like it's better if you stood there and, like, spent, like, 10 seconds, like, in a, some kind of animation, bringing them back up. Or if it uses resources from your pocket, like healing salves. Called. How do you say that? Salve? Healing salve? Sure. Like saying solved. But it's wrong. Okay. Is that a leg? It is a leg. Does what for us? Nothing. Nothing at all. Okay, so what are we supposed to do here? Oh. Further down. Let me see. Oh, I see, I see. This isn't going to be crappy at all. Not even a little bit. Run! Oh, God, we got to go. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. In trouble. Yep. Did you have to climb over that? Separate them a bit. Let's get our health back. That sucked. Okay. I'll take you Okay. 
Okay, that's a little hard. Yep, it's a little hard, that's for sure. Um, all those dudes there. One on one, maybe. Definitely not all of them at the same time. And he's injured. We could float ball down there. Okay, how do we do this? How do we do it? Let's try and pull someone up here. Everyone? I don't want everyone. No? That's bullshit, yo. Getting trapped in there. Hit. Oh, yeah. A bit frustrating. Yeah, fall. Hit that. Oh no, ow. Uh, I tried to get there. Oh, I did. <gasps> I did. Get up, dude. Sit down, please. Out of healing.
was extremely big. Oh, I'm out of healing. The dude, fuck that dude. It's also my fault. I shouldn't have missed. Oh, hey. No pearly gates for you just yet, my friend. Though this Zephyr would prefer to whisper over your bones, I have tasked it with your preservation. Should you perish, it will whisk you away and revive your spirit. Of Ooh, course, thanks. the Zephyr is tasked only with rescuing you. The contract is very literal about that. Though I have asked it to try to preserve your modesty and what tools it can. However, the disquieting sensation of death will linger afterward. So tread warily. Okay. So we've got some kind of death effect. And dude's probably still incapacitated until we go rescue him. So, yeah. Oh. Never mind. Hey. Sorry, I didn't mean to leave you. Alright, prepare everything. And... Let's make some ammo. Probably got tons in here. You know, we need to make a hammer. So while we've got this death condition, death curse, your carrying capacity is reduced. Suffering the effects of an untimely end, a great weakness settles over you. You will recover given time, but seeking your lost belongings may expedite the process. Okay, basically don't die again. Or you'll just keep I'll keep like adding. Oh, look at this. Uh, what's our. Here, it's still a hundred, thankfully. A hundred pounds? I don't think it's pounds. What's. Kilograms. Good. Um. What do we need? Thinking. Oh, uh. Little rocks. We could use. Let's just make these. Oh, there we go. Rocks. Drink. Let's make a few more, shall we? Um. Oh, we're gonna need a lot more than that. Okay, so to make a hammer, we're gonna need two... Two straps. Okay, let's grab some leather. Let's use prey pelts. Yeah, maximum stamina, we want that. Wood, stone. Yeah. Okay, maybe not this much wood and stone. Oh, we need to make the straps first. Hello, straps. Strappy boys. Strap, strap. Strappity, strap, strap. We make a bunch of strap now. Just make two straps. Go to the wrong one. Oh wait, we still need this. Like we haven't we haven't actually made it yet. Fill craft. 
Is there anything else we need in here? We should go fishing while we've got this this death curse helio. And um, let's try and switch out. Actually, wait. Wait. Oh, it makes... One makes two. One hide creates two straps. Yeah, times two. So we got some extra straps. Forgot about that. Alright, okay, let's put those away. Let's put the straps away. And switch... The hammer! Cool. Anything else broken? Cool. We can now put this away. Oops. Oh, hello. Hello. Let's go under the water. Now I wonder if it needs any water? Or it needs specific water. Okay. If there is such a thing, like, does it need deep water? to maintain a steady tension in the middle of the tension bar. Oh, I see. Go against it, almost. Interesting. Interesting. Let's have a snack. Try again. This guy's hard. Basically, you kind of want to go opposite where they're going, but stay within a certain distance. Otherwise, it snaps. That guy has so much health. And he stuck himself. And, um, how do I? And then you reel with the uh, 
mouse click mouse button by holding it down. I suppose that's what dash damage will. So tension is <clears throat> line tension is like what I was doing earlier, where you like move against but stay in a, in a certain direction, and then damage is you reeling it. Are you fucking kidding me, Hale? Can I just fish, please? We need a fishing hut. We need a fishing hut. Um, it could actually be perfect to have like a little hut right here. Just a little two by one. Where we can like sit and cast. I wonder if, that pos if that's possible or if we're too far up there. Oh, it does fit here. We'll deal with that later. For now, let's... Oh man, hail, you suck. You suck. We were having such a good time. Doing the fishings. Honestly, though, I think I'm going to... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to stay online too much longer, uh, just because I got a bunch of stuff to do. I just work things like this, so... Um... Anyway, hope you all enjoyed the stream thus far, and... It's just so early. But I feel like... It's because I just have other things that I need to accomplish with the game. Content -wise. Like I gotta make some videos and stuff like that. And I gotta devote a bunch of my time. I did want to stream for a little while just to kind of show everyone what, what what the beginning stages of the game looks like. I was hoping to get the Antiquarian Magic card, Major card, but oof, as you saw on Extreme, that was that's kind of hard. Yeah, that guy hurts a lot, and with all those dudes with him, it makes it so much harder. Especially three of them, the slingers that throw the, uh, that throw those bomb things. Oh, that was, that was tough. Okay, dude, can you not slip? Let's get back in up there. Did it stop hailing? Of course it stopped hailing. Okay, the reason why I wanted to come here is because I wanted to look in the guidebook. I wanted to look in the code text. No, I think it's awesome. Okay, I was kind of hoping that they would have like like a um, kind of some kind of guidebook entry on the bound because I'd like to see more about them. But it looks like it's just materials. Guidebook. Maybe in the future we'll get something like that. Because, um, yeah, I'd like to see, like, a, a bestiary. A, um, all kinds of real great information on the lore of this world. But we don't have to, like, sift through all these miscellaneous notes. Just to find, like, something interesting. You know what I mean? Like, if there's, if there's a note for, like, a bound that's, like, special. I don't want to have to go through here in one of these like to read like one of one of the the pages that we found right i don't want to have to like read this i want to see a bestiary entry of said creature sadly it's not here i feel like it should be in glossary
Because it gives us who it comes from. Oh, also, we we brought that guy back, so yeah. Ooh, got these like curative potions, moderate curative potions. Um, yeah, where was? a survivor yeah we got him oh we gotta be be revived by a survivor okay then we can have two of two adventure anyways yeah hope you all enjoyed uh that was a streaming nightingale for a while it was fun it's good and I, I i highly encourage you to go grab it because it's, it's really even though it needs a lot of polish but again, it just came out of early access. They just did the port to um, Unreal Engine 5. And everything looks really good. Like, as far as far as I can tell, the mechanics are solid. Um, like, the art is pretty good. Like, I'm sure they're going to, like, make the like, beautify this even more. Because right now, it's like we're seeing two tones. In the trees. You know, it's like this orange and then this yellow. And it's not, there's not much variance between the two. Like, we th we think this is a lighter red, but it's just too... Or maybe it is. It could just be, like... Let's take a look. Okay, so it's three different tones, but still. Like, this could be a lot better. In terms of variance. Like, these individual yellows shouldn't just be light or dark, depending on which side we're, like, the light shining on it, right? Like, these could be slightly different shades of yellow. Just to give this more, more of a natural feel. I mean, there's a lot of little tweaks that they can do to, to really push this game forward. And, uh, I'm sure they're on the way. Too. It's the same thing with the outfit. Right, I was saying that this this patchwork could be, you know, much more varied and colored, just like the pants. And I believe because the pants look the way they do, are you gonna? Put... That was weird. Why is he still holding? He's holding it in third person, but not. Okay, let's, let's... Okay, it's bugged. It's buggedy bugged. Hands aren't switching anymore. So yeah, <laughs> as you can see, there's still a few bugs and things like that to sort out. Uh, how did we... we... Just teleported. Oh, you know what? It's, um... Server stuff. Yep, that's not a bug, that's actually server stuff happening. It's us not communicating properly with the server. Or like dropped information, stuff like that. That's bound to happen. Especially in the, the early days. Like, you know, they're sliding the servers, everyone's playing. So, yeah. That kind of communication is going to be high. So if you look here in that debug menu, which I said before was uh, F2. Okay, region North America East, which is where where we're located. Um, Abeyance Forest Realm. We see a lot of good information here. Frame rates 40-ish. Frame time. It'd be, it'd be nice to see server frame rate. Anyways, I'm actually noticing as well that our CPU is actually pretty high. Um, but other than that, everything is pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Okay, let's put that away. Marion's just creepily like the background there. 
Oh, this guy. This guy got me killed. Alright, man. Didn't mean to. Can you, like, not stand there, though? That That's... Thanks, sir. Yeah, I do like the, the styling of this. Like, the rough... The simple gear. So, okay. Back to the point I was saying. I do like the styling of the simple gear. Obviously, they're going to change that. It's going to be... Going to better match the uh, pants, the patchwork nature of the pants. So there's a lot of little details that still need to be filled in. Dude, can you not? Can you not be here, sir? I am speaking to everyone. I wish you could tell your companions, like, hey, like, go, go farm. back in 10 minutes or whenever you're full or whatever. But yeah, I mean, look at, so back to the point, sorry. I keep getting uh, distracted by Marion. Dude. Okay. Okay, dude. Please. If we tell him, if we dismiss him, does he go back to the camp? Let's find out. Or does he stay right here? Off he goes. So he walks on back. Nope. Okay, anyways. Ooh, it's actually faced this way. I bet. Here. That's a good shot, yes? Hmm. Let's do... Um, what's... Z for emotes? Oh, yes. Z for emotes. Marion. Dude. Over here, please. Yeah, I'm over here. Yeah, I'm over here. Yeah, I'm over here. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Dude. Stay there, sir. Please. I like how we're tired. Our stamina is just god awful. We're at five, four. Okay. And the sun's the sun's not on, so that kind of sucks. But yeah, um, let's actually let's get that that death marker out of there just a little bit. So that advertising, we suck. Not too much. Suck, not too much. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty impressed. My my, I'm pretty impressed so far with the what we've got. Um, the mechanics are very very good. The gathering mechanics are good. The building mechanics are just not the best. They're the best, um, hands down. Um, we haven't even gotten to like the decorations and like making more complex structures. We will, we'll get there eventually. Because something you'll notice is that you can rotate the, you know, everything. So here, let's, let's open it up and make this a crude foundation. We can rotate it like this. Which means that when we stack them up, oh, we can probably, um, I wonder if there's a way to take it off snap, because I don't want it to snap to... Whoop. Well, networking issues. So this does happen too, so I, I like to keep this in the, the stream and the VOD, so y'all can see that this does happen. 
you do get kicked out of your your current realm because of networking issues and that's that's going to happen last night uh, it it actually last night it happened so bad that and like I tried to go in three times it just would not get back in and so um, by the time I was able to get back in it took 10 minutes before we could actually get back in so there's that and again like it they're still they just released into early access and they're getting their they're getting all their ducks in a row in order to make this game perfect. Maybe not perfect, but very good. We got a ways to go. And we can't expect them to have a perfect product right out the gate. We, um, you know, we got to give them our feedback. We gotta give them our time. We gotta give them our, our our support in terms of in terms of money. And actually, I do want to talk about DLC. Something that they have been rather shy about talking is DLC. And I kind of hinted on it yesterday, I believe. Maybe not. I don't. I don't recall. But I would like to see some some um, fashion based DLCs. Like, oh, you can have this dog or pet cat or falcon or clothes or like a style of clothes or a color something like that that a color that you can apply like a dye or a dye set that you can apply to clothes and equipment um so i believe having something like that would be really beneficial like that would be a good elc to have I don't want pay to win DLC. I don't want weapons or armor or anything like that. I don't want that to be purchasable. But it would be good to have cosmetics as DLC. Um, another option is to have realm cards as DLC. But the problem with that is, like, it then limits who can go where, depending on who has bought what. And that feels a little scummy, and that's probably not what they should do. But maybe if they bundle it, like if it's a, um, a thematic pack, at best. At best, I would accept it if it was a thematic pack. Like, you know, go to our Halloween realm. Like, something that's, that's like, you don't eat it, or you don't... It's unnecessary for you to experience that content. Um, and it comes with like a pumpkin head and like a pumpkin like axe or something like that. You know, something like a, a themed DLC pack like that. And it has a realm card that has this, that, go, that takes you to a specific Halloween realm. But something like that would be great. Not great, but it, it's okay. It'd be passable. But if they sell realm cards specifically as DLC, um, you know, different biomes through DLC or different effects through DLC, no, no, we shouldn't, we shouldn't encourage that. And we should be vocal about, if, if things start turning out in that direction, well, we should be very vocal about saying, hey, no, don't do this, please. And, like, please try to stick to just cosmetic DLC. I don't think they're going to do this at all. Because their their culture and their ethics are pretty good. They've been very good so far. Because, you know, they've got in their character creation, you know, a, um, like, as many ethnicities as they could think of that would fit, that could be beneficial. And they're very focused on accessibility and just general ability to play the game or er, like er, they're trying to get everyone to be able, be able to play the game and enjoy it. and that kind of mentality tells me that they're not going to have scummy dlc i believe they'll be pretty 
um, responsible when it comes to that. Um, and another thing that, that points towards this is that they were like, yeah, we're, we're just going to sell for 30 because asking for 50 at a time like this in a... And in a climate of like this, like it feels irresponsible to be like to ask for too much money. And they're absolutely right. Like people are forcing like seventy dollar games on us, no, or games that are free, but actively prey on you through you know currency packs, Fortnite. And, you know, like, I'm assuming that they could also be doing things like Seasons, kind of like with uh, Destiny 2, where they could offer DLCs that expand the game, uh, the story of the game. They could be doing that too. We don't know. We'll, we'll see. They haven't mentioned anything of what they're going to do in terms of expansion. They say that they want to do it, of course, and... It's very obvious that they are going to do this. They are actively working towards building the game further. Like these three realm cards that we have, the the forest, swamp, and desert, they're not they're not the final ones. There's, there, there's going to be a lot more. And hopefully we don't have to pay for them. And if we do, hopefully then it's reasonable. Like the cost is reasonable or it's implemented in a non-scummy way. Again, similar to Destiny, where you could sample the new seasons, but you can't really progress fully through the new season. Um, so you, whether or not you buy the, the DLC, at least you have some, some taste of it. But again, that's not that's not a great solution. I feel like every everything that they really should be free. And then DLC is just like everything that is cosmetic is done through DLC. Hopefully, fingers crossed that that's the solution. That's what they're going to do. That'd be the best course of action, right? Um, otherwise, yeah, I'm very, very happy with the way things are going. They're clearly going to improve things over time. And yeah. I'm looking forward to it. There's going to be many, many great years of creating content, of streaming, of seeing videos, of You're seeing a lot of stuff surrounding Nightingale. Um, and I'm excited. I'm excited to experience it all. Um, I want to talk real quick about criticisms of the game. You know, some of them say, like, the characters are ugly. And here, let's go back to this view. And I want to say that the characters are... I think they're purposefully made not beautiful. Um, owing to the themes of the story. Of this, of the whole game. Because it doesn't want to paint people as a beautiful species. People destroyed their world. I mean, obviously the, the Fae had something to do with like the magic. Like corrupted everything and blew everything up. But in the end, it's people who kind of caused this to happen. And I don't think having beautiful people, like beautiful characters, is the correct aesthetic if they're trying to convey this sort of theme to it. And I think it's okay to have like kind of these cartoony, almost caricatures. I think it fits the game a lot better like this. Although I do agree that it could be a little bit more attractive in some sense. Um, here, let's actually oops, turn the interface back on. Let's go back to... Let's go to character creation. Just so we can look at some faces. Like, the reason why I like these is because they are regular faces, just a little bit, like I said, caricatures. 
They're exaggerated. They're not ugly by any means. Like they've taken features, like you can tell the different, um, the different cultures, the different, like the different peoples, right? You can tell they're all from different parts of the globe. They're not, they're not all Caucasian, thankfully. There's a, there's a great deal of choice here. Like here's a native, like one of the two or three native choices, which is fantastic. When you think about native representation in the world, there's like 1% of them in the United States population. And so you'd think that they wouldn't be given equal treatment in terms of what choices they could have in the game. But here they are, like they have like four different choices, five probably. And same with Caucasians, like there's multiple Caucasians, there's multiple Asians, multiple um, black people, like that's just, it's good, it's great, it's amazing how they put all this together. Let's look at the mail. And although, like I said, I, I do agree that there are some things that they could do to like make it slightly more attractive. And that's, I feel like it's like they've gone a little too far with the exaggerations, with the car caricatures, um, in order to highlight them, you know? But I think overall the design is good. I love the cloth and the textures. Like it feels like it would be velvet. And again, one of the reasons why I like this this look, why it's while it's why it's so why it's exaggerated like this, is that it paints kind of um, I don't know, more symbolic, more thematically appropriate picture of humanity. And I think the people who want them to be like apps like pretty like in um, most other games, is I think they... I think one, they're just used to it. They're just used to seeing it. And two, they... You know, a lot of people escape into their characters because they want to pretend that they are not... Yeah, that they are these people. That they are better than who, who they are at, in reality. And so having an attractive character kind of helps push that escapism further. So I see why there's criticism of, hey, make pretty people. Because people want to escape into a world where they're capable and beautiful and, you know, all that stuff. So I see why. But at the same time, I think this is fine. I think this is great. I think it's... If people stop to think about why designs are like this, I think they'll be able to appreciate the game better. In, as a whole. Those eyebrows though. Oh jeez. Look at those eyebrows. They're like. On fire. <laughs> and who's like. Let's look at the guy with caterpillars. Um, this guy. Look at those things. That's just phenomenal. Like put a hat on him. And uh, we're gold. And, like a little monocle maybe. Yeah. I probably should have gone with this Asian face because it's more Japanese. I think I went with this is probably more my face, like more my Asian style face, like a Thai. Or which one did we pick? I don't remember which one we picked. 
might actually be this one, but we changed the um, eyebrows. Yeah, I think this is it. But yeah, so this is so many choices. They're all good. And you're not stuck with it. You are, you can modify them, you can adjust their mouth, the shapes, the height, you know, the, the eye colors, little details. It's just, it's a ton of, it's a ton of little details that are phenomenal. Although I'm sure you could probably screw it up like crazy on purpose. Should you wish that? Oops. We don't, we don't want to make a new character. Anyway, yeah, hope you all enjoyed, and um, be sure to uh, subscribe to me on YouTube or follow me here on Twitch. I'm going to be the... blah, 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 cannot speak. I'm going to be releasing more YouTube videos than streaming. I'm going to try and uh, reduce my stream time down to like once per week and concentrate on creating like more, more thoughtful content on youtube and on tiktok so be sure to follow me uh, everywhere follow me on tiktok follow me on youtube and follow me on twitch and i'll uh, i'll catch you all later right peace